Okay, this is a little add-on to the uh, original mold making series. When I made my uh, nacelle mold last time, I made it in one piece. That's the first time I've ever done a one piece mold with this ultra cow. And the layup was nice with the fiberglass, but I could not get it out of the mold. So the only thing I could do was drop the mold in the floor, break it open, and then pop it out. So I've got one good cow. So I'm doing this time what I should have done the first time. I'm making a two-part mold, which will uh, enable us to uh, separate the mold away from the plug uh, once we've laid it up and hopefully get it out a lot easier without damaging the plug. Nothing you haven't seen before. So I may edit out some of this just for brevity's sake. As you've seen me uh, mix before and all that, and, and we're going to slap on the. Uh, the only difference here is you notice I've got the foam um, weather stripping paper on the bottom as before, but this time I've got another piece that bisects the cowl uh, exactly in half. So we will make two halves to this mold. my weights. Got to be careful here because I'm going to hold that down so it doesn't separate away from the plug. It's a tendency to do that. One thing I like about uh, working with this ultra cow is when you make a big boo-boo like I did on the first uh, mold, it's it's fast to get to make a correction and get it done. Um, it's been an uh, hour and 42 minutes since I started um, this one half here, and I've got um, both coats on. It's cured and ready to go. So all I have to do now is pull off the parting plane here. And pull off my the stripping around the bottom. Give it a shot of air. And it comes right off. I didn't even remove my glue back from here. Now what I'll do is uh, take this mold and um, with my Dremel tool, put a couple of notches in here that will locate the other half when I put them together. Then we'll slap this back on here and uh, work up the other side. Okay, all we got to do is put those locating notches in. Is a carbide tip in the Dremel tool. in there. So now when we put the new one in, it will form a key in there. So when we put this together, then everything matches up exactly as it should. Okay, so notches are cut, so it's time to start uh, from the second half. So we'll just slide the first half back on here. There we go. Nice tight fit. 
Then uh, at that point, I'll spray some more Pam on here, and we'll lay up the mold on the other side of this. And then as soon as that's cured, we'll get back and uh, see how it comes apart. Okay, it's been a little over an hour since I put on the last coat on this other half, so let's break this off of here and see what we got. see the little keys that are in here. So if we set this up like so, like so, and yeah, maybe just keys right together like that. So we'll, we'll key it together. Nice fit. Hardly any line at all. I know you can't see this on the video. That is a tight, tight seam. Very good. Okay, yeah, we'll put this together. What will happen is uh, I'll wax up the inside of both halves. And then uh, we'll slap this together. I'll wrap a bungee cord around it and uh, to hold it together. And then uh, we'll put a little clay and just a little bit of seams in there. I think might need a little bit of clay, not much. And uh, then we'll throw on some of that Safely Sturdy and uh, lay up a mold or lay up a cow and see if this one comes apart with uh, a little more ease than the last one did.